Hello everyone, this is Shem2409 and today I'm going to show you some of the best launchers available on the Play Store in 2013. So let's begin with Novel Launcher Prime. As most of you know, the experience you get with Novel Launcher is very similar to stock, although it's more customizable. It allows you to change the transition effects, change the way your app drawer looks, also, it allows you to change every single icon by holding it for a longer period of time, going to edit, and selecting the icon you want. The launcher also offers different themes, so you can, so if you go to Nova settings, here you can set up different gestures, look and feel, you can change icon sizes, uh, and there's many more themes available on the market. Uh, also, what's worth mentioning is the fact that you can back up the looks of your launcher, so if you change your ROMs a lot, that's very useful. But overall, the experience you get is very similar to stock, even though it offers more customization. The next launcher on my list is Big Launcher. So, if you want to buy a phone for your grandparents, and if you want to buy them a smartphone but you're afraid they won't be able to use it because of small icons this is the best launcher on the market for them it, it, it basically makes everything much bigger and more clear so it will be easier for use for older people or those short-sighted it's very simple and I think that everyone will find it easy to use the next launcher on my list is the Chameleon Beta Chameleon for phones should come out on the, uh, to the Play Store in about two weeks. For now, I have the beta version. This is a launcher built on HTML ML5. It's completely different than any other launcher you'll find on the market. It offers its own widgets, but also allows you to use the stock widgets, some of them, not all. And then if you want to go to the app drawer, simply slide up, and here you go can also make folders and what's interesting in this launcher there is a function called dashboards so you can have two different dashboards for example one for home one for work which will change the experience on the phone completely for example set up different widgets and different shortcuts and so on and so on so for now let's select the home one if you want to add a widget simply long press on the screen and then it gives you an option. So here is the Chameleon widgets that come with the application, but you can also use some of the Android widgets that you'll have on your phone. It's very interesting, it's snappy, and uh, I quite like it. Okay. Next launcher on my list is SPR Launcher. SPR Launcher basically changes the looks of your phone to that that you find on the iPhone. So all the apps are look on, like on iPhone, also the basically the whole experience is like on iPhone devices. So if you want to amuse your friends who own iPhones on your Android device, it's worth installing this one. Okay, the next launcher on my list is Launcher 7. This one offers the experience from uh, Windows 7 Mobile, so you can set up the tiles and here is your app list. Well, it offers nice looks, but this is the free version, so it has ads on the bottom. But Okay, next launcher on my list is MX Home Launcher. This is one of the newer launchers as well. Uh, offers nice experience overall, has nice effects. For example, if you press on MX, it shows a little balloon, and then there's some oh yeah, leaves falling down. And if you press on that again, changes every single time then as you see when you scroll you also get those nice effects I think it's kind of gaily launcher but of course there's many more themes and you can oh look at how the icons look and you can customize it in many ways next one on my list is the next launcher 3d it's one of the more expensive launchers on the market but it's also one of the most amazing ones like it offers amazing 3d experience for example, if you... Oh, there you go. So here's my different screens. Look at this 3D effect, it's amazing. So by pressing here, you can set up which one is your home. And 
I just love that effect. And if you press here, you get your preferences, so you can add different widgets, you can personalize it, and if you go to preferences, you can set the different uh, screen settings, app drawing settings. There's many, there's many scrolling effects that you can that you can look at. I have it set at random at the moment, so as you can see, there's a lot you can do in this launcher, and it's pretty fast as well. All right, next one on my list is the. Regional Launcher Pro. It's actually free on the market at the moment and it's, uh, it comes with a few widgets that are pre installed on it. The cool thing about this launcher is that uh, you can set a different wallpaper for different screens and you also get nice 3D effects and it's completely free. I think it doesn't get any more support, that's why it's free on the Play Store at the moment, but still it's, it's worth checking out. Next launcher on my list is Smart Launcher. It's also one of the newer launchers on the market. I think that this one is for people who don't like to uh, to spend ages customizing their phone. It's very easy to use. Basically, uh, you get six icons on the main screen, which have your music, phone app, uh, internet, browser, gallery app, messaging app, and a an, uh, camera app. And basically, you can change the look of those icons. And then here in the app drawer, you get... You get your apps that are put into five different categories so everything is very easy to find it's very fast launcher and it's it's good on slower phones as I said it's perfect for people who don't like to spend ages customizing their phone and want something that will simply that you simply download and get a nice experience next one on my list is the TSF shell it's one of the more expensive launchers on the market but it offers a lot of eye candy like for example this widget, <laughs> it's pretty cool, it's the weather widget, then you have the gallery widget that comes pre-installed with it. It offers a very unique experience that you won't find in any other launcher. You can uh, customize it by going into this little drawer here and yeah, you can add little effects. Then you have contact widget, music widget, memo widget, weather and album that you can download and uh, the screens are right here, as you can see. So here's my app drawer. By double tapping, you can select certain apps. And then by dragging them to the screen, there we go. Then you have something called a lasso mode. So if you double tap on the screen, it's on. So then you can draw a lasso and you can create a folder or change the arrangement, gather the icons. For example, I'll create a folder and there we go. So that was TSF Launcher, it's one of the nicest ones. Okay guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, that was some of the best launchers of 2013. So if you like what you see, download them, I'll have a list below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you later.